What if you could know exactly what other people want? How would that affect your ability to negotiate with them? Mary, thank you so much for having us here at your store. It is a beautiful one. Um, we're going to try something to do with negotiation because as a store owner you know that everything in business is a negotiation, right? That's right. You have yeah. to negotiate things that, you know, buying, you have to negotiate uh, salaries that you pay, you have to negotiate um, lease agreements and rental and that kind of stuff. Absolutely. So we're going to try have a little, uh, a little negotiation of sorts. I'm gonna, we're going to try and make up a completely fictitious and wacky lease agreement, okay? Right. And I'm just going to ask you some questions I want you to an answer off the top of your head. Uh, random things that just come to your mind. Right. Don't let me influence you at all. So if we had to have a lease agreement, for how many months would you want the lease agreement to be? And, and you don't need to make it realistic. It, it can be any number that you like. What comes to mind? I think 74 months. 74 months. So that's quite a long yes. lease agreement. That's Excellent. Which so means that you'll be in business for a very long very time. Long. And, uh, and, and, and how big would the place be? I mean, you're into design and so you probably need a lot of space. Um, what, what would you say in terms of square meters? I definitely need a lot of space, cutting tables and, and all sorts and fabric. So I would say 980 perhaps. 980 nice square meters. meters, really, really big. Yes. Uh, you've got a factory as well making all your stuff, so would they be using that space to, to create all Absolutely. your garments? Absolutely, and I can even have fashion shows there. And Excellent. Yes. So, um, with such a big space, you would want to decorate it. You into colours, and, and I can see you've got a lot of style. So, what what colour would come to your mind uh, that you would want to integrate into the design of the place? There's so many colours, but I would say pink, a nice bright pink. A nice bright pink. Yes. Very very good. Um, well, let's let's say how much would you want to pay for a place like this? I mean, but don't make it anything that's realistic. If you had to have a really good deal on the table, how much would it be per month? I would say not more than 38,000 a month. 38,000 rand for 980 square meters. I mean, this yes. really wouldn't necessarily exist anywhere. Yes. Uh, but it's completely wacky and you just came up with this off the top of your head, right? Absolutely. Now, something really crazy actually happened. I, I had a feeling to write some stuff down. I actually created a temporary lease agreement. And of course, like any negotiation, obviously, if you come to someone with, some, with an offer on the table and if it's exactly what they want, then that's a good start for business, right? Of course. Exactly. So I wrote it down. I actually, I sealed it inside an envelope. I sealed that envelope inside my wallet over here. You can see that the zip is still fully zipped up. Uh, we have over here the envelope. In fact, would you take that out and, and open it up? You see there's a little sticker over there. Open it up. Pull out the piece of paper of what I had written. And if you'd read that up from the top. The date is Saturday, the 13th of September, 2014. Which is today. That's right. Yeah. This document serves a temporary lease agreement. The conditions as follows. For a rental period of 74 months. <laughs> Which is exactly what you saw it. This space of 918 square meters will be occupied. I can't believe it. <laughs> We will allow you flexibility. You may even paint it pink. Normally, a two th uh, uh, 915,000 per month, you can now rent it for 38,000 per month. And if that was the lease agreement and we were going to be in a negotiation, that would be exactly what you wanted, isn't it? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping. Thank you. Thank you. amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. I cannot explain it. You know, you're off your often obviously hear about these things and the mentalists and this and that but it's crazy you know it's like things in my head and what I said and I mean how on earth did he know that and to put that down on paper it's it's uh, I, I don't know I'll have to make sense of it